Good morning, children. In our today's class, we are going to see or we are going to continue what we have learned already in our previous class. Do you remember what we are learning? Yes. So, we are learning our Unit 5 Supplementary Reader. Before entering into our today's portion, today we are going to recollect or just record what we have learned already. Okay. The title of the story is A Day in 2889 of an American Journalist by an author Jules Verne. I already told you about this author too. He is a writer. He became famous because of his futuristic novel. That means he was able to predict what will happen in the future. Okay, so in the same way, you can see the title itself, 2889. Okay, so what are the technological developments will happen in the year 2889? He is going to explain through this story. Okay, so it was written in the year 1889, that is 1000 years before, that is before um, uh, there is a gap between 2889, he wrote in the year 1889 and we are in the year 2020. Okay, whatever he predicted, most of that developments we are enjoying now. Already I told you in the previous class about that, is it? So, now just we can have a quick glance. We are learning about a day in the life of Francis Bennett. Okay. Early morning, he woke up with a bad temper because his wife is in France and he is in New York. Okay. So, that he feels some loneliness. So, because of that, he woke up in a bad temper. Okay. So, as soon as he woke up, he switched on the phone or telephone. In the telephotic mirror, he saw the image of his wife. Okay, so that his mood changed because not only the uh, sound he can hear, he can see his wife too. So he was very happy. Then he entered into the mechanized dressing room. Okay, see this dressing room, dressing room, there we have to dress ourselves or someone can help, or both can happen. But here, mechanized dressing room, machine will do everything for me. Okay, there is a mechanized dressing him button from top to toe. Everything is done by the machine. It's a mechanized dressing room. Then next, after that he dress up and he enter into the reporter's room. There, 1500 people were working under him and they were sitting in front of the telephone and they were here collecting all the news around the world. Then next, so photo telegrams, photo telegrams means see, the uh, images they are receiving. Okay, so from where they are receiving this photo telegrams from other planets. Okay, Mars, Mercury, okay, Jupiter, okay, all those planets they were receiving some photo telegrams and this Jovians. Who are this Jovians? Do you remember? Yes, right. They are the inhabitants of the Jupiter. Okay. So, after that, we learned about this Gandhini. Gandhini is a new planet discovered in the year 2889 that is mentioned there. And they were very proud to introduce it in the next news. Okay. So, these are things we learned in our last class. Okay, so from morning till nearly they are reaching afternoon. Okay, till that time what are the things happened we saw in our last class. Now we can start our today's class. Okay, what are the things happened after that? Okay, now. The next room, a broad gallery about a quarter of a mile long was devoted to publicity and it well may be imagined what the publicity for such a journal as the Earth Herald had to be. I bought a daily, uh, it bought a daily average of three million dollars. They are gigantic signs reflected on the clouds, so large that they can be seen all over the whole country. From that gallery, a thousand projectors were unceasingly employed in sending to the clouds. 
on which they are rep reproduced in colors this inordinate advertisements so now we are going to learn about a new invention that is this broad gallery okay so imagine what is this broad gallery okay it's like a television not like a normal television it's the image we can see in the clouds that's in the sky okay so it's so big that one in one area if they are through the projectors if they are displaying that images the whole country can see that okay so there is no need of television in each house so they can see the news or whatever it is happening in the sky in the clouds the image will be uh, seen in the sky okay that is this broad gallery broad gallery so the whole country can see whatever news whatever it may be they can see in the same place that is a broad gallery it's a new invention he is mentioning or uh, he is imagining something and telling okay there will be broad gallery in the year 2889 there is no need of each com uh, or whatever it may be the television in each room or each house so here we can see one television television that is one place with where we can see all the images or whatever news we need we can see through that okay that's the broad gallery so and thousands of projectors were focused towards that and from that we can see the things okay whatever we want to see at that moment the clock struck 12 okay so it's 12 p.m it's the afternoon so this all things we learned now it's afternoon the director of the earth herald left the hall and sat in a rolling armchair so from the reporter's room he was very happy hearing all the news he, what is happening everything he collected and from there he sat on his rolling armchair and from there he is moving in a few minutes, he had reached his dining room half a mile away at the far end of the office. Okay, now from the reporter's room, he is moving to the dining hall. Okay, so it's in other end of that office. And how he is moving? He is not moving by walking. By walk, he is not walking. How he is he, walking? He is How he is moving from one place to another? In this rolling armchair. He will be just sitting there. It will take him to the place where he had to go. Then the table was laid and he took his place at it. Within, e with, within reach of his hand was placed a series of tubs and before him was a curved surface of honor telephone on which appeared the dining room of his home in Paris. Mr. and Mrs. Bennett had arranged to have lunch at the same time. Nothing could be more pleasant than to face to face in spite of the distance to see one another and talk by means of the phono telephotic apparatus. Okay, now it's 12 o'clock and he reached the dining hall. Already arrangements were made there. Through the phono telephotic mirror, his wife, Mrs. Bennett, is uh, in the phono telephotic mirror. They arranged in such a way that they are going to have their lunch together. Okay, so it's afternoon and they are going to have their lunch and they were very happy. They were, uh, she is in France, but he is in New York, but together they are having their lunch. Okay, like everybody else in easy circumstances nowadays, Francis Bennett having abandoned domestic cooking is one of the subscribers to the society of the supplying food to the home, which distributes dishes of a thousand types through a network of pneumatic tubes. The system is expensive, no doubt, but the cooking is better. So, not without some regret, Francis Bennett was lunching in solitude. He was finishing his coffee when Mrs. Bennett, having got back home, appeared in the telephone screen. So, now, we can see about this pneumatic tubes. I told they were in the dining hall and his wife is in France. He need food, is it? He is not cooking for his own. So what he is doing, he ordered it in a 
see uh, supplying food to the home a society for supplying food for to the home uh, he ordered there so this food was sent through pneumatic tubes pneumatic tubes means a series of pipes will be there through through that tubes because the force of air the what we are asking it will be uh, given to us in our on our table okay so here this system Uh, usually used in the hospital for uh, sending medicines from one place to another and it's a complicated network everything can't be done in a correct way through that uh, pneumatic tubes so they drop that system but here he, they are telling that the food is supplied through the pneumatic tubes because of the force of the air through the tube the food is uh, delivered on his table okay so now from that supplying home the food that uh, through that pneumatic tube the food reached on his table okay thousand kinds varieties of foods were there what he need okay he can order and on his table it will reach okay nowadays we are having door to door delivery just from the home we are just ordering through our phone and they will be giving to us okay in such a way uh, through pneumatic tubes also the food will be sent through the tubes and they can get it on his table itself okay so he is telling that it this way of uh, getting food is somewhat expensive but the food is better so he is not at all worrying about that because uh, he is uh, uh, in good position so he can spend much money so he was not at all worrying about that food is better that is the thing he is explaining to us so now he was finishing his coffee when mrs bennet having got back home appeared in the telephone screen so it's nearly evening so after his lunch what are the things he is doing we can see okay when he had finished his lunch he went across to the window where his aero car was waiting so next thing aero car aero car means the flying car that is the thing okay like aeroplane the car will fly in the year 2889 that is his prediction so where the car is waiting near his window okay so after his lunch he reached near the window and just have a look outside so there he saw the aero car where are we going sir asked asked the aero coachman the driver of the aero car he saw him where are we going sir Let's see. I have got time. Francis Bennett replied, "Take me to my accumulator works at Niagara." Okay, Niagara is so a waterfall. He said, "From through in that to that place, you have to take me." Okay, the aero car shot across space at the speed of about four hundred miles an hour. So, uh, in a good speed, the aero car is flying, and uh, within uh, a half an hour, they can reach there. We can see that. below him were spread out the towns with their moving pavements which carry the way for us along the street and the countryside covered as though by an immense spiders web by the network of electric wires okay so now he is flying in his aero car from there he is just looking down okay he is telling that when he look from above Uh, that he can see down fully uh, the network of wires why they are all the things are passing through tubes and wires so it's like a spider's web when he saw from uh, the um, sky that from there he is looking down in he is in the aero car and from there he is looking down so it's look like a spider's web because of the network of electric wires okay and also there is moving pavements people are not walking okay so what they were doing they have to just stand there the uh, the sidewalk will be it will be moving so way for us along the street and the country side so they the moving pavement will carry the people from one place to another they need no need to walk at all okay it's a good development but about this wires electric wires nowadays uh, without wire we are using all this technology for more what he had imagined we are enjoying new facilities okay but here he is telling that everything through wires they are um, can you see in a network of electric wires but that system on work i think so because without wires itself we are now enjoying but he is telling like a spider's web everywhere the uh, network of electric wires are there 
Within half an hour, Francis Bennett had breached his work at Niagara, where after using the force of the cataracts to produce energy, he sold or hired it out to the consumers. Then he returned by the way to the Philadelphia, Boston and New York to the Centropolis, where his aero car put him down about 5 o'clock. So, after that, he reached Niagara within half an hour he reached there and after what they are doing there from the Niagara waterfalls they are uh, producing electric current that is the transformation of energy here it is given there they produce energy that is the light energy he, they produced from the electrical energy that is produced from the water so after checking everything uh, going on well, he moved from that place and he moved through the Philadelphia, Boston, New York and he, then he reached the Centropolis. Then now, where his aero car put him down about 5 o'clock. So, it's evening. So, after taking lunch, he moved to Niagara Waterfalls and from there, after in the evening, he reached again to his office. The waiting room of the Earth Herald was crowded. So it's evening. When he reached at 5 o'clock, the waiting room was crowded, full of people. A careful lookout was being kept for Francis Bennett to return to the daily audience he gave to the, his petitioners. Among their different proposals, he had to make a choice, reject the bad ones, look into the doubtful ones and welcome the good ones. So it's like an interview. Okay, lot of people were waiting for Francis Bennett and interview for a job. So, what are the new development, new things they found out they will be introducing to him. If it is bad, he will reject it. If it is something doubtful, he will look into it. And if it is something good, he will accept that. Okay, these are the things going to happen after 5 o'clock. So, he soon got rid of those who had only useless or impractical skips. A few of others received a better welcome. And foremost among them was a young man whose broad bro indicate a high degree of intelligence okay now in this interview he had selected two young people okay so we can see who are they and what was their discovery okay first one sir he began though the number of elements used to be estimated at 75 it has been now reduced to three as no doubt you are aware Okay, so you might have studied in chemistry about this elements. How many elements are there? 180. Is it so? So here he is telling now itself we are having 118 elements. But here he is mentioning that now we are having 75 elements. Then it is reduced to 3 elements like that he is mentioning here. And now he is talking that all these things he is going to reduce into 1 element. And what he is going to propose is he is told Whatever it will be make the creation of all forms of matter is stone, wood, metal, fiber, whatever we want we can that we can uh, artificially create all those things like that he is introducing something. So he is asking a question Francis Bennett to that man what is the question we can see are you saying you are going to be able to construct a human being yes without soul yes can you say what is that invention robot. Yes, they can create a human being without soul. Whatever the man is uh, that uh, uh, ordering to it, it can, it can do. Okay, like exactly like human being, all the work, whatever work a human being can do, yes, it can do. Okay, without soul, that's the thing. So, he said, yes, um, I am able to do that like that he predicted. So, now, complete. The only thing missing will be the soul. Francis Bennett assigned the young fellow to the scientific editorial department. Okay, he was selected. Okay, a scientific editorial department of his journal, he was selected. Now, the second inventor. Yes. Now, we can see the second inventor, what he had found out. Okay. So, he is talking about moving a town from one place to another. Okay, he is telling about a town named Saf. 
okay so they are going to he's telling i can move that town from one place to another it is 15 miles away from the sea so i'm going to change that area into a seaside resort okay seaside resort i am i'm able to change francis bennett was also attracted by this proposal and he said how much amount you are going to spend up in that half of that share i will spend for you okay these are the two invention one is about the uh, reducing all the elements into one and he was going to find out something new that is whatever in this world he was able to create artificially okay that is the first one and the, uh, that is a human being without a soul the first inventor was able to find out that he is proposed about that and the second inventor proposed that he can move one town from one place to another that is he can uh, move a town that is 15 miles away from the sea and he can change into a seaside resort like that he is and Francis Bennett was attracted by this two proposal and both of them were selected. Now, after this busy schedule, okay, now he uh, had his meal along with his wife. How? He switched on the phone or telephotic mirror and the, with that he was now having his meal and he was talking to his wife after the busy schedule at night. Now, when do you expect to get back to Centropolis, dear Edith? Asked Francis Bennett. Is this Edith the name of his wife? That is Mrs. Bennett. The name of uh, the wife of Francis Bennett is Edith. So he's asking, when you will come back? I am going to start this moment. Now I am going to start. By tube or aerotrain. So how you are going to reach here? By tube or aerotrain. So... Aero train means flying train. Okay, so tube, tube, I, as, as I told you already how the food is passing through the tube, human beings can move from one place to another through this tube without any traffic jam or anything. They can, it's um, very fast, okay, fastest means of transport. Uh, he mentioned this in the year 2889, people will move through this tube. In it can we can travel in the speed of 600 miles per, uh, per hour, okay, we can uh, travel in such a speed. So, he said it's better you select tube, okay. How you are coming, you are uh, you are coming to uh, New York through tube or aerotrain. He's asking by tube, then you will be here. At 11.59 this evening, so at night, 11.59, I will reach there. So, see the time, how they had mentioned 11.59. So, uh, if we were asked, how we will say now? 12 o'clock. 11.59, we will not mention as an exact time, is it? But here it is. Mentioned. So, it is told that in the year 2889, how they are giving importance for each minute. Lot of things they can do within that second. Okay, that is that if uh, they are considering that each minute as valuable. So, only they are telling at 11.59, I will reach there. That is exact time. Paris said, no, no, Sandropolis said, goodbye then and above all, don't miss the tube. You don't miss the tube, you reach the, their correct time and you can reach here exactly. So the submarine tubes by which one travel from Paris in 295 minutes and certainly much preferable to the aero train. It is best to, uh, better to select the, aero, the tube than an aero train because uh, through the tube, one can reach that place very fast. Okay, now... Francis Bennett, very tired after so very full a day, decided to take bath before going to bed. So, before going to bed, he had to take bath. There was always a bath already in the office. He touched the button. For taking bath also, he touched the button. So, a rumbling sound began, got louder, increased. Then one of the doors opened and bath appeared, gliding along the rails. Okay. So, if he want to take bath, he no need to enter into the bathroom. Bathroom is moving towards him. Switch on the button and the bathroom is re moving towards him. And he had to just enter there. Okay. So that kind of developments will also be there. That uh, during 2889 he is predicting. Okay. So 
before going to bed he is going to take bath and he will be sleeping okay this is a day what are the things happened in the life of francis dennett there is a day in 2818 of an american journalist okay so and that's all in our lesson just we can recall from morning to night a quick glance we can have morning he got up with a bad temper but through the phone or telephone in the telephotic mirror he saw the image of his wife and he felt happy after that he entered into the mechanized dressing room machine dressed him well and after that he entered into the uh, reporter's room there he inquired about all our things what is happening there and he, they were he was told about the photo telegrams from other planets and about the jovians we learned who are this jovians the inhabitants of jupiter and about the discovery of a new planet that is gandhini we learned about gandhini and then after that they mentioned about the broad gallery what is this broad gallery like exactly like a uh, television but it is very big and we can see the screen in the uh, clouds okay so for a world country that one uh, that broad gallery is enough okay then next the uh, after that he take his um, lunch okay along with his wife so uh, through what from where he got the food through pneumatic tubes okay he got the for pneumatic tubes the food will reach on his table okay then next after having his lunch he saw his aero car waiting near his window so he uh, get into the aero car and he reached the niagara waterfalls there he hired or sold to the customers the um, energy produced from that niagara waterfall and after that he reached through uh, philadelphia boston and new york and then he reached centropolis evening five o'clock when he entered into the waiting room of his office he saw many people waiting for him with their new invention so uh, all those things he go through and he rejected the bad one doubtful one he just look into and also the best one he selected so through that from that he selected two okay the first one about the elements okay uh, the 75 elements he so told that everything uh, converted into three and now i can convert it into one element and uh, whatever things in this world i am able to create artificially because of that so he's inquiring whether you can create a human being he said exactly okay i can do that and without a man without soul that is what we are uh, having now that is our robot okay so next uh, inventor he, he told that i can move a city or a town from one place to another like a block i can shift it and move to one place he told that where a town which is 15 miles away from the sea i can change it into a seaside resort after that he was very tired and so he take his meal for uh, in his meal also he was talking to his wife through uh, that time so he inquired when you are coming to new york so she told that that moment she is going to start from there and he she told that she was traveling through tube and she can reach exactly at 11 uh, 59 that night i will be reaching there so he was very happy so after that after his busy schedule that whole day he had to take bath before going to bed so the for taking bath he no need to enter into the bathroom the bathroom is moving towards him just he had to press one button okay this is the one day of that american journalist okay so i hope children you understand this lesson okay now in our last class, I gave you a study portion. That is the fourth unit supplementary reader paragraph. Okay. So, I hope you have learned and write it in your rough note. And today's study portion, you have to learn and write the fifth the unit that is secret of machine that is the memory poem already you learned you have to study the paragraph of that poem and you have to write it in your rough note that is the study portion for today okay children thank you